Never mix your motherfucking past with your motherfucking future. Your past is the dirt. Leave it buried. Don't even cater to the bullshit. Because once you left something in the past, it was meant to be left in the past. Feel me? Your past experiences is your comfortable zones. Things you was comfortable with. Things you was acquitted to. And things that you basically did. Now, yesterday will not be the same as tomorrow. Things change. Life change. And rotations. Rotations change. So if you're not rotating in another frequency, then your frequency spaceship will be shifting, sailing. It won't be making up its mind. And basically, it won't put you into a position of being straight. Things will be parallel, which means you will be living in a parallel universe with yourself. Because remember, not everybody is catering to these ideas. But remember, if somebody is stuck into something, 10 times out of 10, these be the individuals that's stuck on the road. You drive past them, they broke down. You don't want to basically break down. Because too much shit on your frequency will break you down. And it will take you down. And you don't want to basically be taken down by these past frequencies. These past vibes. Or these past auras. So what you need to do is leave that shit buried. Leave it where, that, where it's at. And of course, when you leave things where it's at, it accumulates and of course accumulate and collect its own dirt. Feel me? So that means when you leaving something alone, it's meant to be left alone. It should have basically come back into your area, your space. And of course, your space, it has a fulfillment area. And of course, everything has an exp expiration date. Feel me? That milk, that bread, that toilet tissue, someday, one day, it's going to basically be expired. You ain't going to be able to wipe your ass with that same tissue. Feel me? So you got to get new tissue. New shit, feel me? Because every day is new shit, and every, and every day is old shit, feel me? Bringing up old shit only blurs your future, and your future is very important. Your future tomorrow is basically what brings you the gold, the gift. That's why it's so important to focus on the future and not focus on the past presence. Focusing on the past basically creates a time traveling for you to basically get caught up into some shit. Sometimes the fucking train station don't work. Sometimes you get caught up into traffic. Sometimes it can be very difficult and hard for you to basically get back to the future preferences if you always basically stuck into the past, stuck into a routine, stuck into a rotation. And you never basically want to get caught up into these areas 10 times out of 10. Feel me? Slavery ain't, ain't over for certain individuals. Certain individuals want to basically be governed and up under a system. And if you up under a system, then that means your system of your own will never be created and never be conducted. Why? Because you're up under a comfortable situation. And if you don't know how to make things uncomfortable and put yourself into an experience of exploring these things, you will never have the right explorations or explorations or exploitations to explore more into the world. You'll be exploring the same bullshit, picking up the old baggages. And you don't want to basically be picking up old baggages. Because 10 times out of 10, bags do get fucking heavy. And if you don't know what you want, that means you'll be basically be picking up everything into the store. Because your eyes get glued to everything that you see. And of course, what you see is what you pay attention to. So that means you ate that shit. You digested that shit. Now that shit is in your bag. Now you're about to physically eat it. And of course, 10 times out of 10, we always put ourselves into positions of being too greedy sometimes. Sometimes it, it's cool to be greedy and see what you basically are experiencing and wanting. But 10 times out of 10, it's always... Very important to basically know what you want before you go into a hemisphere, before you go into an atmosphere. Because if you're in a certain atmosphere, and of course there's air in the atmosphere, if you're in a certain atmosphere and you don't know what you want, you don't know what's on your mind, you're gonna get a you're gonna get caught into somebody's UFO, somebody's rapture. You're gonna get caught into somebody's idea processes, process system, which means that idea processing system, you're processed now, which means you don't have your own process. You have somebody else's process. You're basically adding on to that process and creating day process, which means your process is not sure. It's not cahoots. And of course, if you're not sure and not cahoots, then that means you are suitable to get taken over and get UFO projected on your ass. And of course, this is a situation where we got to learn how to put ourselves into a situation of being sure what we need and what versus putting ourselves into situations of being all over the fucking place. Because when you're all over the place, that means you're a fucking spiritual kid. 
which means you don't know how to put yourself into a self-disciplinary state, which means you don't, you're not in control of your space. Your space is basically too open, too vulnerable. Everybody in it. Everybody had the box. Everybody had the cookies. Everybody had your flyer down. Everybody had your pants open. Yeah, everybody basically sucked you dry. And you just out here manifesting all that craziness in your life. You don't even know what you want. You're not even stabilized. You're not even practicalized. Feel me? The emotions is chaotic. It's ups and downs. It's like narrow, for instance. And of course, you don't put up a fence. Feel me? If you don't know how to build that fence, then of course, all type of shit will basically be able to get through there with an easy access. Every day, you got to build a fence. Feel me? Because that fence system that you're working on is going to help you Keep the certain things and certain shit from getting out, from getting inside you that quick. Just like even in the movie, it's Dead of the Zombies, whatever, whatever the fuck that movie was called. I don't even watch it. Walking, Walking Dead. So that, seen that built, seen that fence they built. They had to make sure they built a fence to make sure these motherfuckers, these parasites, these demons, it's not basically coming inside they shit to take them the fuck over. Feel me? A demon will basically be lost into the flesh, wanting to eat everything up, fucking, fucking around, just, just looking for fresh blood. And of course, if a parasite, if you're not working with a parasite, then the parasite is going to look at you like you're the enemy. So the parasite is going to want to come after you 10 times out of 10. That's how it always play out. That's how it always boils down to. Feel me? These motherfuckers work in packs. So you have a group versus another group. You have a group that's aware, and you have another group that's aware of other different shit. We have a group that's focusing on safety and control versus another group that's focusing on flesh, blood, eat. You feel me? So whatever you eating is how it presents inside of you. Remember that shit. And whatever you digesting is what's basically you releasing outside. So whatever you releasing is what you put in the air. And what you push out is what you're going to get back. You feel me? You're going to get it back. What you paying attention to? <laughs> Go and get that attention right back. For me, it's like a projection. It's like a rubber band. It's like pop back right back. It's like a arrow. For me, and depending on where you shooting that shit, that's how much shit that's gonna come back into your state. So you gotta be very aware of things, and aware of mixing yourself with the past, and the future. It's good to know about the past. It's good to know about the future, but certain things need to be left alone and buried in the dirt. Because if you keep bringing up these things, you're going to be digging some wrong shit. You're going to dig up the wrong skeletons. And of course, all things got a spirit. You're going to be basically accumulating the wrong skeletons, the wrong bones with the side of your life cycle. You're going to see the wrong shit that's going to fuck you up for the rest of your life. And of course, if you allow these things to fuck you up and allow these ideas and these emotional states to current you, then of course, these currents are going to wash you up under the current to the point where your body is going to be very hard to find. Because... You seen some shit that you was basically supposed to be left in the dirt. It's good. It's good to not focus on digging for shit that serves you no purpose. Feel me? Learn how to leave things alone. Stop being curious, George, in this motherfucker. Feel me? Stop being a monkey. Stop trying to look for that banana. Feel me? If that banana ain't there, give it some time. It's gonna grow. But don't be out here searching in the woods for shit. Feel me? You gonna search the wrong wood, and you gonna really get wood by the wrong and animalistic being. Of course. It is never that serious for certain things. Certain things should be just left alone. Certain things should even basically be brought back up. Certain things don't even need a reaction. Because when you react and respond to certain shit, this certain shit can, you, can put you in the full of shit. And of course, you're going to be full of shit. Just like Jackie Chan was said from Chris Tucker. you full of shit. Which means that Jackie Chan didn't have to respond. But of course, he had a response for everything. Which means that he just dig himself into, they just dig each other out into some more shit. Almost to the point they got their ass beat up by fucking, um, that tall motherfucker in the movie. So sometimes it's good to basically not be curious about shit, man. Right? Sometimes if things, if things don't need an explanation. Sometimes there's things just don't even basically need to be basically correspond to these days. Certain shit just need to basically have a back burner and leave it alone. Feel me? Because your future is what truly is very important to you. Your past is just the presence of experiences that you went to. Your future is the experiment itself. And of course, if you have the wrong experiment, bringing into the current experiment, 
this is going to fuck shit up. People, places, and things start to be discovered. Certain individuals start to pop up. Certain people start to accumulate themselves with you. And of course, these certain people that's popping back up are your past experiences. And you should not allow these past experiences to get torn up with the current experience. Sometimes certain individuals should be left alone. When you bring these things up, you just give other individuals and other people hints now. They be like, well, okay, what's going on with this person? This person bringing out the past all of a sudden. This person talking about somebody all of a sudden. And it's like, wait, hold on. What's going on now? What's going on now? You are adding more spirits to be curious about your past experiences. Almost to the point where if you would have just kept your mouth closed during the interview. And of course, you ain't say certain shit. They would have to basically even look into certain things. Feel me? You just, you went in there self-contradicting yourself. And trying to basically play out a predetermined situation. Almost to the point where if you just came in that shit. Played, played your part. Kept your shit cool. Your shit would have went very smooth. It's just that one slip up. That you said something. That had the individual thinking like, wait, hold on. Let me really, let me check and see what's going on. I mean, you talking all this good shit, this sweet shit. Feel me? Everything was wonderful. The yams was there. The mac and cheese was there. The cornbread was there. Everything was gravy. Feel me? But you, you brought up the leftovers. Now, this person, very curious. Feel me? That leftover probably fucked them up. That leftover probably think that you poisoned them. That leftovers probably made, made it seem like you the enemy now. Feel me? That's why it's good to basically leave certain shit in the past alone. Feel me? It's very good. Feel me? This past experience should not be presented with your current experiences. These things have an expiration date, have a separation date, which means things need to be separated. Certain things shouldn't even be basically open. Sometimes your skeletons should not even basically be coming to the surface. These motherfuckers should be basically somewhere deep, covered in the dark with things that you should only know about should be left in the dark. Feel me? Don't let your past experience fuck shit, shit up for you that you're going on currently. Feel me? Never want to allow these shits to play a part. Sometimes you just got to play shit cool. Feel me? Even in your life. Sometimes you just got to act dumb. Play dumb. Don't put yourself into a position of, oh, damn, what if this happened? What if that happened? No. If it happens, happens. Feel me? Even if somebody's curious about it, just act cool. Act accordingly. Remember, you the one that's in control of this shit. So how you react and respond to something is how that shit going to play out. Feel me? And how much time and energy you put onto that space, that vortex, that's how much of that shit going to grow. And of course, if it keep growing, that means you planted a seed there. So now it's open. Now the sperm got in there. The ideas going to start accumulating. The feelings and emotions going to start accumulating. Now, boom, it's a physical representation. It can be seen now. Now somebody's aware of it. If you would have just basically not planted no seeds there and not create a season over that motherfucker, you wouldn't basically have no ingredients for other individuals to basically sniff or basically put it in their motherfucking references. But you, being an individual, popping shit and talking about the past, this fucked your ass up. And of course, leave these things alone. Your future is very important. Never jeopardize that shit for the past, for me. What you thought or heard of in the past, leave that shit alone. Sometimes ears need to be muted. Eyes need to be muted. Shit should not even basically be seen into your hemisphere. So learn how to leave that shit alone, for me. Never put yourself into a position of catering to these things. Leave that shit the fuck alone, feel me? Leave it alone. What happened yesterday was yesterday. Today a new day. What the fuck you gonna do today? Get lost into the past, the source, or you gonna basically put on your fucking helmet, put on your shoulder pads, put on your knee pads, put on your good attire, footwear, and of course, go hard in the paint. How much How much of that energy and time you gonna put on towards to? That's dictate everything, feel me? Time is money. Time is energy. And of course, if that energy is not in the right positioning, then of course, your energy is weak, baby. You gotta try again. Try again, motherfucker. Try again. Feel me? Sometimes you gotta keep trying. You gotta keep doing it. Feel me? And do the best you motherfucking can. Because that time and energy you put in, that's what you're gonna get out. Good seeds. Good futures. Not past experiences. And of course, we gotta keep moving on. Fuck all that past shit. What you gonna do today? What you gonna do tomorrow? That's what really matters. That's the case.